It takes a long time to develop an effective music program in a school. These days, because of the No Child Left Behind Act and problems with the economy and budget cuts in school districts, many schools are resorting to cutting their music programs in order to have time to spend on the core subjects, or simply because they can't afford the materials needed to have a band or orchestra program in the school. In schools that are being forced to alter their school days and spend more time teaching core subjects like English and math, they are barely able to spend an appropriate amount of time to be able to cover all of the necessary material in social studies and science classes, which then never leaves time for any extra classes like fine arts or physical education. Because of the No Child Left Behind Act, school districts and individual schools can't change the situation because they depend on the student's success on standardized tests in order for them to stay open and still receive government funding. If teachers and administrators in the United States don't start to realize the importance of keeping music programs and instruction in schools, they could eventually cease to exist completely. Luckily, there are programs that exist that work to help form strong music programs for schools that can't afford the materials and that also work to promote advocacy for music programs being kept in schools if they are at risk of being cut. One of the most prominent foundations that fights to keep music programs in schools is the VH1 Save the Music Foundation. According to the Foundation's website, VH1 Save the Music is dedicated to restoring instrumental music education in American public schools and raising awareness about the importance of music as part of each child's complete education. The Foundation started in 1997 and primarily focuses on donating instruments to schools that need them. Thanks to their help, over 1,700 public elementary and middle schools in over 100 cities around the United States have been able to develop band and orchestra programs. The website states that the foundation has provided $45 million worth of brand new musical instruments and has helped to change the lives of more than 1.4 million students in public schools across the country. The organization requires that schools be able to fund a salary for a certified music teacher and provide time for instrumental music classes during the day, and the foundation stays in contact until music programs are developed in all schools in a school district. Another foundation that fights to keep music in schools is the Music for All Foundation. This foundation creates awareness campaigns, conducts research, and strives to get advocacy for music education programs. An interesting thing about this program is that they also organize and host music programs and performances to give students the chance to showcase their musical abilities and show how important a role music plays in their lives. One of the programs that was created by the Music for All Foundation is Bands of America, a program which reaches out to middle school and high school students especially. Bands of America holds high school marching band regional and national championships around the country each year, and the final one is held in Indianapolis, Indiana. Also, they host several concert band programs around the country as well. One of Bands of America's largest programs, the Summer Symposium, is actually held right here at Illinois State University during the summer. According to the Music for All website, the Summer Symposium draws 2,000 teen music students and teachers from more than 40 states and several countries to a week-long music camp. Without an organization like Music for All, students wouldn't be given the opportunity to continue their love for music outside of school if they are even lucky enough to attend a school with a successful music program. And the same foundation also helps by donating money to schools that aren't that fortunate. Some might still wonder why music is such an important thing to keep in schools. Most people usually assume that people who are involved in band, choir, and orchestra are the smart kids in school, when research shows that it is a student's involvement in music that usually affects their test scores and overall IQ. An article called Music Education, the Brain Building Subject, talks about how a child's involvement in music actually physically makes their brain smarter. The article states that people's brains function better if they have more pathways developed, and research shows that learning to play an instrument establishes more neural pathways in the brain. Therefore, if a child learns to play an instrument, they will have more neural pathways than a child who doesn't have any fine arts involvement, which in turn technically means that the musical child is smarter. Also, music instruction actually rewires the brain to work more efficiently in all areas of thinking. According to supportmusic.com, the College Entrance Examination Board found that students in music appreciation scores 63% higher on verbal and 44 points higher on math 
than students with no arts participation. Also, a study of rural and urban inner city schools found that arts programs help schools in economically disadvantaged communities develop students' critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Finally, students who participate in school band or orchestra have the lowest levels of current and lifelong use of alcohol, tobacco, and illicit drugs among any group in our society. With all of the positive things that come along with music programs in schools, one might wonder about the reality that some schools face with budget cuts affecting their music programs. One school district that is currently facing a dilemma is the Fairfax County Public Schools in Virginia. A group called FACE, or the Fairfax Arts Coalition for Education, was formed in 1991. According to the FACE website, the group's goal is to serve as advocates for education in general and specifically as advocates for a well-rounded education that includes a comprehensive, sequential, high-quality program in the fine arts taught by certified arts specialists for all students in grades K-12. through Currently, the group is working to save elementary school band and orchestra programs, which in October were named as possible cuts to this year's budget. Obviously, if elementary school fine arts programs were cut, eventually they would no longer exist in the middle schools and high schools either since there wouldn't be enough students to participate. In order to fight the potential cuts, FACE is taking several steps to get people involved in the struggle. The website lists their plans to keep the programs intact and the group hopes to gain community involvement for their ideas. Hopefully, with the help of FACE and its supporters, the Fairfax County Music Programs will be able to survive the budget cuts and remain successful long into the future. But unfortunately, some other school districts aren't as lucky to have such a strong support group. Music education is very important to our society. Where would we be without the music we have now? If budget cuts, NCLB, and other programs continue to shut down music and fine arts programs in general, music may cease to exist. Children need music as a way to show their artistic abilities and enhance their own knowledge. As future teachers, we need to understand the importance of music in our students' lives. We can help this through becoming involved in our school's music program. Even if you have no musical ability, you can still be an advocate for the continuation of music education. Together, we can secure the musical future of our students.